The USS George H.W. Bush, one of the U.S. Navy's nuclear-powered aircraft carriers from the Nimitz class, recently reached a new level of capability. It became the first in the world to be equipped with a drone control center. Known as the Unmanned Air Warfare Center, this state-of-the-art facility marks a crucial moment in drone warfare. The UAWC is set to be the control hub for the Navy's upcoming fleet of MQ-25 Stingray unmanned aerial vehicles and potentially other future autonomous aircraft, transforming how the Navy operates at sea. In this video, we'll explore how this control center works, what it means for the future of naval operations, and the strategic advantages it brings to the U.S. Navy's capabilities at sea. Let's dive in. The Unmanned Air Warfare Center, recently installed on the USS George H.W. Bush, is the first of its kind, a fully operational control hub designed specifically for managing uncrewed aerial vehicles like the MQ-25 Stingray, for example. The UAWC serves as the central point for overseeing drone missions, starting with the Stingray's primary role as an aerial refueler to extend the operational range and endurance of manned fighter aircraft. The launch of this control center is more than just a technological upgrade. It marks a strategic move for the U.S. Navy, which is increasingly looking to integrate unmanned systems into its fleet, and especially at sea. The introduction of the UAWC allows for complete control of UAV operations from the aircraft carrier, a first in naval history, and sets the stage for the future deployment of more advanced unmanned aircraft, like those from the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. So, what exactly makes the Unmanned Air Warfare Center so special? At its core, the UMCS is a suite of software and hardware designed to command and control UAVs. The UMCS integrates various systems, including the MD-5E Ground Control Station, which is the primary interface for operators to pilot the drones and manage their missions. The control system also incorporates advanced communication networks to ensure continuous connectivity between the carrier and the drones, even in contested or remote areas. It is supported by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works multi-domain combat system, which adds an extra layer of capability for managing multiple assets in complex environments. Essentially, the UAWC transforms the aircraft carrier into a multi-role platform, not only housing and launching manned aircraft, but also directing a fleet of unmanned systems. This combination enhances the tactical flexibility of the carrier strike group, allowing it to respond more effectively to a range of threats and scenarios. The installation of the UAWC on the USS George H.W. Bush is a critical milestone for several reasons. First, it sets a new standard for integrating unmanned systems into carrier operations. By centralizing drone control on the carrier itself, the U.S. Navy is positioning itself to lead in an era where drones will play an increasingly important role in naval warfare. Second, the UAWC offers a blueprint for future deployments. The Navy plans to install similar control centers on all its Nimitz and Ford-class carriers, ensuring a consistent and unified approach to UAV operations across its fleet. This will allow the Navy to scale its drone capabilities rapidly, from refueling missions to reconnaissance and even direct combat roles. And let's not forget the new, loyal wingman drones that are set to fly alongside the next generation of fighter aircraft, bringing even more advanced capabilities to the mix. Third, it addresses a critical operational need. As naval confrontations become more technologically advanced and adversaries develop their own UAVs, the UAWC provides the U.S. Navy with a flexible, resilient command center that can adapt to various mission types. From supporting manned missions with aerial refueling to executing complex ISR operations, the UAWC enables a broader scope of capabilities. By 2025, the UAWC will undergo its first major test at sea. This will involve a series of trials to evaluate its ability to manage complex drone operations in a dynamic maritime environment. 
the successful execution of these tests will likely pave the way for full-scale deployment across the fleet. The establishment of the world's first carrier-based drone control center is more than a technological advancement. It's a strategic leap forward for naval operations. By integrating drones directly into the carrier strike group, the U.S. Navy is creating a more flexible, responsive, and capable force ready to meet the challenges of modern warfare. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.